it's February 10th of 2019 and I was hoping to bring you guys into this woods to show you where I had my accident causing me to have two screws put in my ankle. However, I just took my first step into the woods and I am up to my thighs. And considering my other foot has a boot on it, I'm not gonna make it far. So, <laughs> we're heading back. I was really hoping to discuss how weather affects your hardware and barometric pressure from here outside. However, with that, <laughs> with that first step into the woods and also noticing that my battery has come down 75% in the last 10 minutes, I guess it is, uh, I think six degrees here in Minnesota. We are gonna have to, <laughs> we're gonna have to work with it and we're gonna do the rest of this from somewhere warmer. When someone has surgery and has hardware put in like pins, rods, screws, plates, they often can keep them in the rest of their lives. However, some need to take them out. I was one of those people who had mine taken out and a huge part of it was due to the weather. Why people ask me? Well, I'm going to discuss that with you when we get back. All right. Woo! That was cold. Um, in fact, I actually uh, got my... I forgot that when you are in snow and or when you fall in snow and it melts, it gets wet. And that is, once you're out there for a little bit, woo, I'm changed now, I'm warm, I'm better. So, um, weather and hardware. Have you ever heard of someone talking about having a headache or a migraine caused by the weather? I hadn't. And it wasn't until I looked up barometric pressure is when I learned all about how it affects our joints, even headaches and migraines. So this is how I understand barometric pressure. We have tissues and we have fluid that surround our joints. Uh, think of the tissues kind of like balloons. And we live in a high pressured atmosphere. Um, you and I cannot feel it from day to day, but our body does. And what that high pressure does is that pressure constantly um, pressing on us what it does is it almost keeps us it almost keeps us like in check so it keeps um, our tissue and the fluids from contracting or from swelling so all of a sudden we've got a um, low pressure system coming in we've got weather coming in and that high pressure is let off of us and so now it's let off of us you think that that's almost like a good thing but it's not. It allows our fluids to expand and then it also it allows our tissues to then swell. We need that pressure. I'm almost trying to think of it as like, you know when you get a cut and they're like, oh, put pressure on it so it stops bleeding. That's a good thing, right? You need to put pressure on it so it stops bleeding. That's kind of how it is with um, the fluids and the tissues. We need that pressure. And so when that pressure is let off, all of a sudden, our fluids expand, our tissues swell, and that is where the swelling and the aching come from. And that is how, kind of how I understand uh, barometric pressure. I'm gonna read you guys something quick from uh, Keck Medicine at, let's see, University of Southern California. This says, weather-related pain often occurs at the point where a bone was broken or a joint was injured. Knees and ankles are most common. Scientists don't know for sure why the weather causes pain, but barometric pressure seems to play an important role. When a storm is brewing, the barometric pressure drops. This change is detected by the body, causing soft tissue to swell and for the fluid around the joints to expand. The expanding and the contracting of muscles can also irritate nerves and cause pain. It seems most noticeable in people who suffer from inflammation or who have fluid on their joints. Brings me into how does your body and the hardware get affected by the weather? Well, my body, when we would have any type of cold, my ankle would swell and it would ache so bad. 
So I would um, be icing it and elevating it to try to get the swelling down so that I could get into a shoe. Fun. I did not like the weather changes um, and dealing that with my hardware. A lot of people will say that their um, their joints get really achy. And I am just only so glad that I have the hardware out of my body now so that I don't have to experience the aching and the swelling that goes with that cold. I might have mentioned this before, but I saw my friend Aaron last week, and of course he saw that I was in a walking boot, so we started talking about broken bones, and um, Aaron was playing football last year, and he, uh, I can't remember if he broke his arm or his wrist, but he has a lot of hardware in. I, I, I can't remember if it's pins or screws, but um, I want to say it's 14 or 16 of them, and he was telling me that it's a joke with him and his wife that um, he can predict the weather. Um, specifically rain. He says that he can tell if it's going to rain one or two days before it actually rains. And he also says it just aches like crazy during that time. So that's just one specific example um, in addition to myself of how the weather affects us. You've probably heard the term snowbird before. Those who migrate south during the uh, winter months. Huge part of the population here in Minnesota around I would say 70 and older they all head to warmer places like Florida, California, Arizona, Texas, and you can't blame them. I mean, if you think about it, a huge part of that population is the ones that have, you know, their hips replaced, knees replaced, shoulders, um, and so spending those long winter months here in Minnesota would be horrible. Speaking of swelling... I'm feeling my ankle swelling right now. It is time for me to get back to doing some icing and elevating. So I hope that I taught you a thing or two today about barometric pressure and how it affects our body and the hardware in it. So long. <laughs>